just finished building the flight test SE5. Uh, I haven't even painted it or put landing gear on it yet, as I just want to make sure it flies well before I go that far in depth with building this thing. It's pretty lightweight. It's flying on a 500 milliamp 3S. Um, I know they call for 800 milliamp, but it balances out just fine on a 500 if you have it all the way up front. So as long as you use a lot less glue in the tail as you can. As little glue as you can use in the tail section of the plane, the better. Um, probably took me about three hours to build from plans to final assembly. Uh, probably took me another half hour to get the landing gear on, and then another half hour to an hour to paint it. So probably four hours total to build one of these things. See how it flies. Super slow. And it is super windy out here today, so I can't go too high up. I also get blown away. My elevator travel is way more than what's recommended, because I wanted to see what kind of loops I could get. Super windy over there. <laughs> Not sure if I'm gonna get it back. Oh, come on, little guy. There we go. <laughs> okay, not going down range very far. Noted. And it will fly incredibly slow. Look at that. Yeah, I'm a fan of this plane. This is a really good design by Flight Test, by Josh Bixler specifically. And I have a good feeling that this will be a great indoor plane. Does not like inverted, which uh, is to be expected with this much dihedral. stall test. It won't stall. Not surprising.
I have a feeling this will be a great indoor plane. Winds start to calm down a little bit. Let's actually try some right hand turns. Time to land. Well, I personally think it's an awesome plane. And that was about seven minutes worth of flying. Pretty hard flying, too. Let's see how much battery we have left. so I flew a little too hard <laughs> but that was really hard flying so you could probably get seven minutes of just easy flying maybe longer I'd start with five minutes and then set your timer from there but yeah I'm a huge fan of this I'll be building the Fokker triplane as well and trying that out and I'll be painting this and doing another video with it once it's totally done thanks for watching